This is the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer combo that includes the AMS Lite. It's an easy to use, beginner friendly, mid sized 3D printer that has heaps of amazing features, such as the full auto calibration system that calibrates the Z offset, bed level, vibration resonance, and nozzle pressure all automatically. There's an excellent quick swap nozzle system for changing out nozzle sizes. It also has impressive printing speeds, along with excellent print quality and multicolour printing capabilities with the AMS Lite. Opening the box, we find a handy QR code that can be scanned to watch the unboxing video. The printer is well packaged and everything is included to get started. There's the quick start guide with information for assembly, setup, and how to start the first print. In the package, we've got a dual sided textured PEI build plate. There's four rotary spool holders and the AMS light stand. There's a set of bamboo filament swatches, which is great for selecting filament types and colours. The accessory box has the tools, grease, assembly bolts and a few spare parts. This combo package also arrived with a bonus LED lamp project kit that we'll make later on. We've got a single spool holder, a power cable, the AMS light body and the purge wiper. To complete the unboxing we find the A1 3D printer's frame, the base housing and just under that a small sample of filament and the PTFE tubes for connecting the single spool holder and the AMS light unit. Assembly for this printer is super easy and setting up the machine is a straightforward process. The manual has clear instructions on the assembly and the bolts are clearly labelled in bags. All the complex parts are already set up and pre-assembled and they just need to be bolted together along with plugging in a few cables. To get started, on the underside there's four transport screws to remove and these are there to keep the bed in place during shipping. Next up the base is installed into the printer's frame and it's placed in at a slight angle and then aligned with the uprights. Under the base cover is the location for bolting the upright and the base together and making it easy, these assembly points are clearly marked in green. There's a few more bolts to install towards the front of the printer and with everything tightened up, the base cover is reinstalled. Now the printer is placed on the edge of a table and this is so we don't damage the bed cable out the back of the printer. Underneath the printer, the cable box has a Type-C connector and this is aligned carefully and plugged in. And there's one bolt to tighten down to secure the plug. We've got three cables to plug in for the Z motor, camera and the X motor and these are all colour coded to make the installation easy. The cable for the Z motor is placed in the cable slot and then the cover is clipped closed. The touch screen is rotated to the front of the printer and the purge wiper is placed into the slot at the end of the X axis and bolted into place. Now there's a single spool holder included that can be attached to the top of the printer's frame and this is for using individual rolls of filament. It's also recommended to use it when printing with TPU or abrasive filaments rather than using the AMS light unit. To set up the AMS light, the body simply slots onto the stand and this is secured with four screws. Next the rotary spool holders are attached and these are colour coded yellow and green to make the installation easy. These are simply pressed on and click into place. The PTFE tubes are connected from the AMS light to the port on the top of the tool head. Now there's two shorter and two longer tubes and the two shorter tubes are inserted into port 1 and 2 on the AMS light and the longer ones into port 3 and 4. Then the other ends are inserted into the four ports on the tool head and these can be connected to any port. With that done, the cable is attached to the cable organiser. Moving to the back of the printer, the cable from the AMS light is plugged in, the power cable is connected and the printer is ready to go. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes to assemble the printer and the whole process is straightforward with easy steps to follow. On the initial power up, there's a basic setup procedure to go through on the touch screen and it will run the calibration for the motor noise cancellation, vibration compensation and auto bed levelling. Taking a look around the 3D printer, the A1 has a clean modern open frame design. The structure uses an extruded aluminium and sheet metal build to give it a solid construction. There's nicely designed moulded plastic covers for the main body and other small components. There's a high level of attention to detail to the fit and finish 
and it's well built with quality materials. At the front of the printer, we've got the 3.5 inch color touchscreen. This has a simplified user interface and it's easy to navigate for starting a print, changing filaments, adjusting settings and for basic printer operation. For connectivity, the A1 has built-in Wi-Fi for file transfer and remote access on a PC with Bamboo Studio or with a mobile app. There's a 32 gig micro SD card located at the front of the printer for offline transfer of files and it's also used for saving video and time-lapse footage. In the settings, there's also a LAN only mode for local wireless printing. For the motion, we have a linear rail attached to the aluminium profile for the x-axis and the linear rails are ultra smooth giving accurate motion with very little maintenance required. The y-axis has a metal guide rail slider system which is neatly enclosed inside the base. At the back, the z-axis uses dual lead screws on linear rods which ensures precise Z layers. Taking a look at the tool head, this has a direct drive extruder that feeds filament through an all metal hot end that comes with a stainless steel 0.4 millimeter nozzle installed. This can reach temperatures of up to 300 degrees, which is good for printing basic materials like PLA, PETG and TPU. What's interesting here is the nozzle system allows for quick swaps simply by removing the silicon sock and unclipping the hot end with one clip. Along with the 0.4mm nozzle, there's options to install 0.2, 0.6 and 0.8mm nozzles and these are available on the Bamboo Lab site. This tool head also has built-in filament tangle detection and a filament run out sensor. This will pause the print and notify if the filament has run out and resume printing after the filament is replaced. And it's also good to know there's a power off recovery system if there's a loss of power to the printer. At either side of the hot end, air ducts connected to a single rear fan cool down the freshly printed layers. The bed is embedded with magnets and these hold the dual sided textured PEI plate firmly in place and it can reach a maximum temperature of 100 degrees. And towards the back of the bed, we can find the silicon wiper that's used for cleaning the nozzle. The latest version of the A1 now has an upgraded heat bed cable that features Kevlar reinforcement, thicker insulation, a softer copper, optimised wire winding interval, nylon sleeving and an extended strain relief for the cabling. They've also added a rubber bumper to help protect the wires from accidentally getting bent or damaged. Now for the print size, the A1 has a build volume of 256mm cubed and it's the same size as found on the X1 and P1 series of 3D printers. So build plates can be interchanged between printers and this is a good size for most projects and models. There's a small camera located on the printer and while it has a very low frame rate, it's used to monitor the prints, record print videos and capture time-lapse footage. Next to the camera is a small LED light to light up the print area and there's a small diffuser cover that can be removed over the camera's lens for privacy. The full auto calibration on the A1 is a hands-free system that will probe and set the Z offset and the bed level automatically. Along with this, sensors will automatically measure the vibration resonance on both the X and Y axis and adjust for the active flow rate compensation. All combined resulting in hassle-free and easy printing so there's nothing to manually adjust or to tinker with and we can just focus on getting things printed. By default the printer comes with the audio notifications turned on which plays a tone when turning on the printer, starting prints and when prints complete. The sound effects can be turned off in the printer settings if needed. So the AMS light is an automatic material system which is mainly used for multicolour and multi-material printing. It holds four rolls of filament and is able to automatically change and select filament as needed. This allows you to have multiple colours or different materials loaded and ready to go. Not only that, the AMS is able to be used as a filament backup system which will automatically reload filament of the same properties if one runs out. Spools of filament are super easy to load onto the AMS light and the Bamboo Lab spools include an RFID tag that will auto detect what type of filament and colour is in use and this will automatically apply the best settings for the material. The AMS is not only limited to Bamboo Lab filament spools, I found most generic and cardboard spools of filament fit and work well with the AMS light, but these will need material information and colour entered manually. Keep in mind there's some generic spools of filament that have a larger centre hole 
And these need a simple adapter to reduce the spool hole size, and then they'll fit the AMS light spool holder. Now the A1 printer and the AMS light unit do take up a bit of space on the desktop. This measures 680mm in width. If you want a smaller setup with a reduced footprint, Bamboo Lab does provide a file for printing a bracket to mount the AMS light on top of the printer, and this will free up some desktop space. For the first test print, we're starting with the included pre-sliced Benchy file found on the SD card. For this print, we're using the Bamboo Lab Red PLA Basic Filament. This is a good first test print to check and confirm everything on the printer is working well. The Benchy boat printed in 20 minutes, and with it completed, the build plate is removed from the printer. The bottom half of the hole was a bit shinier than the rest, but overall the printed model looked clean. Taking a quick look at the Bamboo Studio software, it has a user-friendly interface and it's easy to use to prepare 3D models for printing. I find the default presets are great for printing and I'm only usually adjusting the layer height, wall thickness and infill settings all depending on the model requirements. There's also a cool paint feature that allows us to add colour to any object for printing. It's a simple process to prepare and add colour to a model with the tools. Within the software, we can also send prints, watch printing progress, and control the connected printers. What's also great is we have the ability to access Maker World to discover models for printing. There's a large community of users sharing their designs and 3D models, and there's always something new to find. And these designs can be opened up in the Bamboo Studio or sent directly to the printer with the Bamboo Handy mobile app. Now whenever the filament loads or changes, it will purge out the filament out of the nozzle and the wiper will push it out onto the side of the desktop. To keep the workspace nice and tidy, we're printing out this functional purge bucket. These designs can be found on the Maker World site and there's a few different pre-made designs to choose from. These files can be downloaded and sent straight to the Bamboo Studio and they have their slicer settings all ready to go. And with it ready, we just need to click print and send it to the printer. What's impressive is seeing the first layer of the model print on the A1. It's super smooth, clean and uniform. Which goes to show how well this printer automatically calibrates itself. And this is all while using a generic brand of PLA filament. The model is printed at a 0.2mm layer height with some white PLA. It took 4 hours to print, and once it was complete and started to cool, a light flex on the build plate allowed the model to be removed easily. The finished print result looks great, and it turned out to be a clean print. The purge bucket sits next to the printer and it collects all the waste filament, keeping the desktop neat and tidy. For the next print, we're making the LED lamp kit. To get started, there's a QR code on the side of the box. Scanning it with the mobile device will open up the model in Maker World through the Bamboo Handy app. From here, we can prepare the model by selecting the printer, then quickly check all the settings, and we can press on Print Now. It will cloud slice the file, then send the print job to the printer. With the printer turned on, the filament loaded, and the build plate ready, there's nothing else to touch, and the printer will start automatically. It's a good system just being able to find a model and start printing. The lamp is printed in two parts. The first part of the lamp cover is printed with white PLA. It's a detailed print that took 5 hours and 30 minutes to complete. With the part complete, we can remove it from the build plate. The part printed extremely well with excellent detail. For the second part, we'll jump back over in the Bamboo Handy app and select the next build plate. A quick check of the settings and print now is pressed and the second part is sent to the printer. This base part is a lot smaller and quicker to print and finished in 29 minutes. The two parts printed exceptionally well and fitted together nicely. In the box of the lamp kit, we have a USB powered LED light which has a long cable and a small on off switch controller. There's also an adhesive disc and some screws. To assemble the light, the USB plug and the switch are passed through the base, 
and then with the entire length of the cable passed through, the LED light is pressed into the base. At the bottom the cable is placed into the small cutout, and with that done the top part is twisted on and locks into place. With the build complete, the USB is plugged into a power source and the light is switched on. The LED lamp kit turned out to be a brilliant project to make. It was an easy process to prepare and print the files, and it's a really nice design that's aesthetically pleasing and functional. For the next print, we'll test out the multicolour functionality of the AMS light with these pre-coloured duck models. During the print, the filament will automatically change between the yellow, orange, black and white filament colours. Printing with colours does increase the print time, and these models took 4 hours and 48 minutes, with the majority of the time spent on the colours with a total of 82 filament changes. So another thing on multicoloured prints, there's a bit of waste produced when loading and changing filament colours. But with careful tuning, such as reducing the flush volume or the print tower size, the waste amount can be lowered. The overall quality of the printed colour models does look great, with a smooth finish and a clean transition between the colours. Next up we have a propeller toy that's made up of a number of different moving parts. These are printed with blue PLA filament. The model printed in 1 hour and 44 minutes and the finished print has smooth surfaces and a great overall print quality. The Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer is a very capable machine for printing models and designs. Adding the AMS light will give you multi-colour printing options and I think this will be a popular go-to 3D printer setup. It has straightforward setup instructions and minimal assembly required. And with its ease of use, users can operate the 3D printer and produce high quality prints. Whether you're creating prototypes, functional parts or printing fun models, this printer consistently delivers impressive results that exceed expectations. Overall the A1 offers excellent value for a beginner or experienced user looking for a smart and fast 3D printer that's easy to use and just works right out of the box. Let me know what you think about the Bamboo Lab A1 and the AMS Lite and check the description for links and additional information. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below.